what's up youtube so i'm back with another video in today's topic i'm gonna cover how can you get your google adsense approval for your new blog in less than a month that is correct you can actually get google adsense approval within uh, less than a, a month if you do this particular if you follow google's guidelines correctly on your blog your blog is a good looking blog and uh, stuff like that uh, I actually started my blog in the month of February on the 8th of February and I had an approval from Google AdSense on 6th of March. Uh, of course, that was after me applying uh, three times, three times. Yeah, that's that's correct. Even I was eager for getting, you know, it started with Google AdSense. So what I did was I, I created a blog. I wrote few articles around some 10 articles or something and I, I just sent it for an approval but it got rejected uh, after a week i got a i got a mail from google saying that my site is not qualified uh, so i i actually got disheartened and i started looking out for other blogs and uh, videos and stuff like that that what is it and why, where am i going wrong and what is it that i'm doing wrong so i came across a lot of tips uh, uh, one myth I would like to burst over here is there are a lot of YouTubers who say that you can get an approval after you create your blog within 24 hours or 48 hours. No, that is not possible. That is certainly not possible is what I've learned from my experience because I did everything correct but there was something or the other which was lagging. So another tip I would like to again give you over here is if you start, if you if you if you apply for Google Adsense and if you get stuck somewhere, please 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 get in touch with the Google community. Yes, there is a Google community in Adsense. From your Adsense account, you can access the Google community. You can ask questions related to your queries, whatever the queries might be. There is a there is a, a revert time uh, of 24 hours, but mostly you will get it in five to six hours from Google's uh, community, the revert from Google's community. And trust me, they are really helpful. They are a bit blunt, but they are really helpful. They will certainly help you. So without getting any, uh, without any further delay, let's get started with the tip number one. Also, before moving to the tip, I would like to again remind you, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for this particular video and might consider of, uh, by, of pressing the bell icon for the future update so that you do not miss any particular videos, of course. And let's get started. So the first tip I would like to give you over here is you need to have a purchase domain. That is correct. You need to have your own purchase domain. You cannot and cannot get an approval from Google AdSense if you have a free domain name. Like for instance, I started my website with uh, uh, Wix. Wix is a good platform uh, to start a blog, especially when you don't know anything about coding. I personally don't know anything about coding. I have created this blog, the entire blog, by watching videos and reading articles. And that's how I have built this particular blog. But uh, uh, yeah, you need to have, you need to purchase a domain. It might be any domain, like it doesn't have to be ending with .com or .in or .net. It can be anything. You just need to have your own domain. It can, uh, it can also be, you know, .mk, .tk, .something, .co or anything. You can get a lot of uh, domains which are free. Yes, you can buy them. There is a website. I will I will share the link in the description for that particular website. Also, there is another website called as bigrock.in. Uh, you can purchase your domain from bigrock.in or Hostgator. You get the websites. I, I was looking for another domain name for another blog of mine. And um, I, I found uh, on, on bigrock.in, I found the .tech, .online domain. Those were only for 99 rupees per year that is correct only 99 rupees per year and with no extra cost i i mean you'll hardly get some taxes what um honestly when i i was checking out for the card i the entire amount which i had to pay was 113 rupees that is it 113 rupees you can own a domain and you can start your blog so this is the tip number one. You need to and need to have your own domain. There is also a myth that I would like to uh, involve over here that people say that only high um, higher domains like you know a .com or .net or .co.in are the domains which Google 
approves the AdSense account for. It is nothing like that. It's a myth. It's a pure myth. You can actually start with any domain. The only thing is you need to own that domain. Tip number two. Now, um, when you start a blog, everyone wants their own website to, you know, look flowery, look beautiful. The moment people come on that particular website, they should be like awestruck. They should be like, wow, this is the blog I want and this is how the blog I want to create. But please do not fall for that. If you are starting your blog, if you are, remember one thing, blog is a, a, a platform where people want to read. They come to read your content. They do not come to see uh, how how uh, beautiful the website is and how uh, the UI UX is and stuff like that. Of course, the UI UX plays a major role in terms of actual usability of the website, not in terms of the visual terms. Uh, so you need to really have a blog which is clean. Like, imagine for example if you've written a particular blog, I am a user, or you are a user, you are coming on my blog, and you are reading a particular uh, uh, article of mine. Imagine there are some some butterflies going around, and you know some flowers or some animations happening on the website. That's just distracting. And plus, Google cannot place their own ad. That is right. There will be a code which will be given uh, by Google AdSense to you and you have to place that code on your website and enable en uh, enable it on all of your pages for the blog in order for Google to automatically start displaying ads on your website. But the moment you have a beautiful looking website like some animations and some stuff like that, a visually appealing website I would say rather over here. Google cannot, there is no place for Google to uh, place the ads. There, there, is no, there is no place on your website for Google to display their ads. So it is going to be useless and Google will not approve that particular website. So you need to have a professional looking blog which, which is minimalistic is the word. We are, only thing you need to look after is you have, you have good content and there is some space where Google can actually place ads. Generally, a lot of blogs which I have seen, they, they write their articles on the left hand side and on the right hand side, there's a lot of uh, display banners which have been placed. So these are the advertisements which have been placed by Google themselves and that's an auto display ad. So you need to have a professional looking website. You do not need to have a beautiful looking website. Tip number three, you need to write content regularly. Now when I say content, uh, I have also, when I was doing my research, there were there were there were a lot of uh, people who you know have commented on other YouTubers' videos that okay, listen, I have I have uh, copied this particular content from here and I have pasted that on my uh, website, but then too Google is not approving my uh, AdSense uh, account. Why is that so? So firstly, you do not and you cannot just rob the content. You cannot plagiarize the content you cannot have a plagiarized content on your blog you really need to create your own content it might be of any topic just look out what is the niche that you are good with it is okay if you start with a certain niche and then you change it to some other one it is fine explore your options but you cannot copy paste any particular content from any website and just paste it on your website no google will ban your uh, google adsense account and they will never approve it. So you cannot just copy paste the content. Plus, you need to start writing regularly. Now regularly, I mean to say, there are a lot of bloggers who write on a daily basis, especially when they start a new blog. On a daily basis, they would publish one article at least. They will try and publish one article. There are a lot of bloggers which I've seen, uh, they are used to publish at least two blogs when they initially started their particular blog. And for the, for, for I guess two months or something, they were writing two blogs a day. But honestly, it can be a bit tiring for you, especially if you're working as well as you know, you are, you are side by side handling your blog. So it can be tiring, but you need to, when I say write, write regularly, you at least need to publish one post in two days or three days maximum. Make sure that in a week's time, you at least have three to four posts which are going on your blog. So in this way, Google gets to know, okay, listen, this particular blogger or this blog is getting, you know, it's publishing the blog's articles regular on a regular basis. And that's how the Google bots will start, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, knowing that, okay, listen, this is a blog that I can, I can rely on. 
so you need to write the content regularly another thing i would like to explain over here is uh, uh you might have seen or when you are doing your research or stuff like that there would be a lot of uh, articles you will get or a lot of videos you will get they will say that okay before applying for google adsense you need to at least have 40 to 50 blog posts on your uh, uh, website well that is a myth it is nothing like that all you need to have is at least a minimum of 10 to 15 posts that is right just 10 to 15 posts make sure that that is your own content the topic can be something which you have read about or you've got to know and there is some knowledge which you have built about but there has to be just minimum of 10 to 15 blog posts the article should be in your own words it should not be a copy pasted article again i'm saying the same thing i know but you just cannot simply copy paste the article and yeah the minimum you require is 10 to 15 blogs so it's a myth that you need to have 40 to 50 blog posts on tip number account. four uh at least when you're writing the article make sure on an initial basis at least i would say for at least two to three months till the time you know after you even after you get an approval from google adsense or before getting an approval from google adsense try to make your articles at least thousand words now i'm not saying characters characters are different character counts are different i'm saying thousand words try to make it as lengthy as at least thousand words that is what you will require because google wants content google likes content uh when you make sure that you know if you're writing for example if i i i love stock photography i have written my first article uh which was like the top five websites i get from my earning from them my passive one earning from uh i wrote that article on i guess feb uh, feb 9 and that article consists of some 2000 3000 words so when I'm saying write long content because people like to read long content and Google loves in detail content. Put as much as detail, as much as depth you can go, but just write long content. Tip number five. Now it's actually something similar to the tip number two I said. Only over here is when I said you do not need to have a beautiful looking website and you have a you need to have a professional looking website so by professional i mean to say there are certain number of pages which you need to create an order for google to approve your adsense account yeah there are some five uh five two three four yeah there are six pages which you need to actually create in terms of getting approval from google the first one is about us about us page make sure that you're writing something which is regarding yourself and the content again has to be original uh, the content on about us page doesn't necessarily be thousand words it can be 500 to 600 words but make sure that it's an authentic content and you're writing it by your own self. the second page you need to have is contact us page contact us page is very important if the user is coming and they want to you know get in touch with you that is it can either be a form or it can be just you displaying your email id your phone number or any other way a user can get in touch with you but uh contact us page is another page you would need for uh, approval from google adsense the third page which you need to have is terms and conditions now when you write a blog there are certain terms and conditions a, a lot of bloggers you know as we write the uh, post we insert affiliate links uh, affiliate links are something which for example if you are coming on my blog and if you're clicking on particular uh, affiliate link of mine and you're purchasing that product i get a certain amount for you know recommending that particular product to you so you need to have your terms and conditions page in order uh, for google adsense to give you an approval the next one is privacy policy privacy policy is again something which is a mandate for you to have on your blog i'm going to tell you how you create all these pages uh, in a while the third the 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 next one is disclaimer page disclaimer is something again the same way for example if you're sharing some affiliate links on your blog if your article is consisting of some affiliate links you need to make sure that the user is aware of those particular affiliate that okay this is an article which actually includes a lot of affiliate links so that is something which is our disclaimer page and the last one which you will need to have is sitemap sitemap is something which is actually a one pager thing wherein a user gets to know what all uh, pages you have on your website what all the articles that you have on the website so sitemap is something like a skeleton of your website you really need to you need to create your own sitemap 
and upload it on Google uh, Search Console. That is another part I will be covering in a different video. But you need to have sitemap as well if you want an approval from Google AdSense. Now for creating this terms and conditions, privacy policy and disclaimer pages, there is a website I am going to share the link in the description below where you can actually just share the business name, what is the kind of blog or the website you have, uh, uh, you have and it will automatically generate terms and conditions disclaimer and privacy policy for you. So you do not need to you know sit back and write it all by yourself. Of course, the content is a bit lengthy, which will get auto-generated from that website. I am going to share that particular link in the uh, description. You can check it out. And it's, it's very simple. It's, it's really easy to generate these particular three uh, pages. You just have to fill some details and it will automatically get generated. Now, the last one, the last tip is a bit tricky compared to the previous ones. Uh, you need to have your Google Analytics account, your Google Search Console account. So Google Analytics and Google Search Console, I would actually recommend uh, um, with the same particular email ID, the same Gmail ID you have created your blog or you have signed up for your particular blog is the same email ID you can sign up for Google Analytics and Google uh, Search Console as well. Uh, you need to link these two things on your blog in order for getting approval from Google AdSense. That is right. Google Search Console is something where you can actually check your daily updates of how many users, of how many visitors or how many organic searches or impressions you have got through searching like when people come on Google and they have searched a particular keyword. Is your website being displayed? What position is it being displayed? What is the CTR you have got? How many clicks you have got? Everything is getting it, it you it will be displayed on Google Search Console. So you need to link Google Search Console in order to start ranking on Google. In order to get displayed on Google rather. Not ranking but displayed on Google. Another thing you need to have is Google Analytics. Now the people who are not aware of Google Analytics, Google Analytics is a quick way of you to get to know where your users are going on your website, what is the page they are spending uh, the most of their time on the website. So you need to link both of these accounts in order to get Google AdSense approval. These were the few trips, the, these were the few tips and tricks which I have actually uh, 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 face myself and I have learned it from my uh, uh, mistakes that these are the things you need for getting uh, your Google AdSense approval. Uh, try and implement all of these and let me know in case you don't get an approval from Google AdSense because I'm 110% sure you will definitely get an uh, AdSense approval within a less within less than a month if you do all these steps correctly. Again, for, for closing, I know I have mentioned this a lot of times, but do not copy paste any particular content. And the most important part, after in case, like when you get an approval after applying all these tips, please do not and do not in any particular manner click on your own ads. A lot of people do that. Please do not click on your own ads in order to generate your income or boost your income. It is not easy to fool Google. Google will automatically get to know that you are the person who is clicking on your own uh, ads and they will ban your uh, account. So do not actually click on your own ads. Well, these were my tips for getting uh, an AdSense approval within less than a month. Please let me know how did you how did you find this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button. And share this video with the new bloggers or your friends who have who are thinking of starting the uh, their own blog. I will be back with another video the next time. Till then, keep geeking.